definitely doable. But it's not easy. <laughs> it's deeper than I thought it would be. Oh, this doesn't bode well. <laughs> Well, I am back in Snowdonia and this is a, uh, a very exciting day for me because it's the first mountain ride where I've made the route. Um, I don't think anybody, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think anyone on YouTube has ridden this one on a mountain bike before. It may be completely unrideable, we'll find out. Uh, but basically this is my first attempt at making up my own route and uh, riding somewhere that I don't think many people have ridden before. I'm in the Ogwen Valley. I have got Triffin in the background there. Um, and then further around, I've forgotten the name of that one, I'll put it on screen now. But then if you carry on around that way, you've got uh, Carned Daffid and Carned Huelen. And Carned Huelen is the second highest peak in Snowdonia. And that is where we're going today. We're going to go up to the peak of Carnacquellin and we are going to come down as well. Don't know which way we're going to come down yet, but we are going to come down it. Um, so yeah, like I said, really excited for this beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day. Uh, I seem to be very lucky with that recently. Um, and and I'm, I just, we're going to plow on, we're going to get on with it. I've got a feeling that some of the way up is going to be hike a bike and I don't think we'll be coming down the way we go up, but uh, we'll find out, we'll find out. Okay, so I've just stopped for a second. Um, it, it feels a little breezy, but not too bad. It's probably a lot worse on the, uh, on the microphone of the camera. But um, anyway, so that's what we started down over there. Um, about there. Uh, there's Triffon in the background, Glidafau, uh, Glidafach, uh, that's Glidafach uh, there, and that's Glidafau right there. Um, we are heading up this track, which uh, goes off round to that way, and then um, we're probably going to be carrying the bike up a very steep bit over there. Um, before we head on round to um, that lump over there, which is kind of welling. That's the peak. So, yes, just stop for a quick bite to eat, get some energy back, and uh, now we're on the way again. I'll keep having to stop and get my phone out because uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. Still heading up, up there to kind of welling. Um, now the track goes along here, it looks like a beautiful track to ride down to a point and then it gets really really steep and switchbacks all the way up there and I don't think that bit will be rideable, I think that will be way too steep and possibly too rocky um, there was no guarantee I was coming down this way anyway but this track, this bit of track here looks beautiful um, but yeah we'll get to the top and then we'll see we'll see what other options there are not that I haven't looked before, but it'd be nice to see them in person instead of on a map. See you at the top. So, I'm getting there, but some of the way up has uh, included actual mountain climbing. And um, I won't be coming down this way. I'll be looking for an alternative. Because I've got to head up there now with a bike. And that is steep. And there's not a path. But the views are absolutely stunning.
definitely doable. But it's not easy. Okay, it's now about, well we're three hours, three and a half hours in and I am at the top of Kanye Kuala. Um Here is the cairn, the, with the obvious bike shot, shot uh, and the, the shelter over there. Right, well the wind is starting to get up. So I'm gonna head down now. Yeah. Are you going down that way as well? Yeah. <laughs> All right. If you find me lying on the floor, please pick me up. Deeper than I thought it would be. Oh, this doesn't bode well. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. <laughs> thought I'd be able to ride this bit. Lots deeper than I thought it would be. Maybe there's a pe reason people don't ride carnage well in.
So I've stopped to put my gloves on, getting through this rock garden because a lot of the rocks are really loose. But Yes. Very loose and rocky here, and uh, there are some really nice bits, but I'm not sure it's overly worth the climb with a bike. The wind really got up.
marshy land. Hard work. <sighs> really hard work. Okay, catch you on the next rideable bit. So I'm starting to think that maybe this mountain was a little bit much for my uh, second mountain of just Snowden. Probably quite a lot for anybody, <laughs> to be honest. I. Uh, Yeah. Anyway, path we're heading down, we're going to go down this rock climbing bit here, onto the path that goes over Bialik, then we go down to the right, and a lot of that's quite steep as well, but there is, there is rideable bits. So, uh, So yeah, there will be some decent footage a bit further down. So the other, th the one thing that I am getting from from doing this, at least, is that I'm learning about what it me what Google Maps means, not Google Maps, Google Earth and um, my planning app which is outdoor active and basically what things on there are like in real life so ba so my planning will get better basically and be able to pick better paths through Snowdonia that are bikeable Ooh, that was further down than I expected because although this is an awesome mountain not terrifically bikeable The views are great though. <laughs> 
so yeah if you're coming to if you're planning to come and bike kind of quelling i recommend you do it from the seafront on the far side this is great for walkers stroke climbers but not so good for mountain bikes I will come back and do the sea, the sea path at some point to see what that's like, but this is a little bit much. Just FYI, this isn't me running out of skill. Well, it is me running out of skill, but it's also, I don't think that's rideable by anybody. We're down to the Bialik, where the switchback trail goes off down here. And I will not be riding this top bit. So, we'll catch you in a bit.
on the way up this looked totally rideable now I'm terrified why is that? There's impossible and there's difficult. Now we're getting more towards the difficult part. And not the impossible. But... Not just yet. Hi.
<laughs> Watch where you put in your front wheel. Top tip. <laughs> Pedal strike. We're getting back to the road bit now. Getting back to the road and then, or not the road, but the farm track to, that gets up to the lake or reservoir. And uh, yeah, then it's just smooth run all the way down to the car with a couple of gates. a mega mountain I really enjoyed that oh bogge Hopefully I've got some decent footage. But uh, I definitely know what I'm looking at now in terms of planning routes. It's got a lot windier. Hope you can hear me. But yeah, know what I'm looking at now in terms of planning routes and uh, should be able to plan pretty well based on that that wasn't the best one I could have done I imagine but there are plenty more out there for me to explore 